Goodbye. tell you that I'm doing my old magic act at the bus benefit tomorrow night. Oh, is that so? Mm -hmm. Will you use Ram Singh tomorrow night? Yes. Is he still such a crack shot? Crack shot? He's always, always been handier with a knife. What's on your mind, Kirk? Has he been arrested for speeding or something? A house was raided last night, and the place was cluttered with dead men marked by the spider, and a turban was found on the scene. Who are these men, uh, gangsters? That's beside the point. The turban. Ram Singh wears one, doesn't he? Well, yes, but... What does that prove? What do you know about the spider? Why, he seems to be a perfectly nice sort of fellow, as far as I know. Goes around punishing people the law hasn't time to catch up with. What do you know about him? Stop beating about the bush, Dick. <laughs> what do you want me to say? You don't think I'm the spider, do you? I don't know what to think. But I'll tell you this much. The police department will receive instructions to concentrate on the spider to get him dead or alive. Perhaps I can help you. You know, Kirk, you amaze me. First, you asked me to come in here and help you stop this wave of crime, and then you turn around and practically accuse me of being the spider. If I didn't know you so well, I'd get angry. Yes? Mr. Morris with the call in choir to see you. Send him in. Perhaps he's come down to sell you a couple of ducats. Take a look at this, Commissioner. The spider again. May I see it? Doesn't the spider usually leave his mark of identification? That's right, Commissioner. What would the spider want with a benefit show? He might want to attract our attention to the benefits so that he could operate somewhere else. That's only theory, Kirk. But with a threat of this kind, you should give protection to the people attending the show. Naturally. Policemen will be assigned to cover every square inch of that block around the terminal. Perhaps Mr. Wentworth would rather withdraw from the program. No. It would be better that I appear and save a lot of embarrassment. Oh, it may be just the work of some crank. Play the story up big, but give it the horse laugh. I think you're right. There's a certain breed of crank that's always writing letters. We get them regularly. Advice, criticism, threats. This note is probably from one of that type. Spider has nothing against me, I'm sure. I've never caught him. Well, till I see you, gentlemen. So long, Dick. Goodbye, Miss Whitworth. So you see, that fake note means more than Kirk realizes. I don't need more than one guest to tell me who sent it. Who, the octopus? Well, of course. He's setting a trap to catch both the spider and Richard Wentworth at the same time. But he hasn't things figured out as cleverly as he thinks. Peter? We've got to be letter perfect in our routine. We'll do our share, Dick. There's a great deal at stake. I see by this evening's paper the note was delivered. Very good. Bulls are walking into the trap just as I planned. With Wentworth on the stage, it should be an easy matter for you to get him. Dick, I wish I knew what was going to happen tonight. You know, you have a nice habit of plunging us into the midst of excitement before we even know what's going on. Well, if we all stick together, darling, we can sort of watch over each other. Jackson, everything packed? Everything packed, Major. All right, pilot in the back of the sedan. Right. All set, here we go. Quickly, Ramsing. Well, Mr. Wentworth, I'm glad to see you. Allow me to show you to your dressing room. Thank you. Now, those are the plans. Nita, you go and get into your costume. Jackson, set up the machinery. Ram, you stay here and watch. I have to go and see the chap in the box office. Hello, Dover. Hello, Mr. Wentworth. I was wondering when you get here. I appreciate your help in my plan. I still don't know what it is. I'm sorry I can't tell you the details. But remember, when I give you the signal, I want you to make sure that all the tickets you sell are in a special group. 
I want to keep a certain bunch of people together. Friends of yours? Well, not exactly. You call them business acquaintances. Oh, I see. Uh, pardon me. Give me three tickets down front. Sorry, we're almost sold out. But I've got three nice ones in the 15th row on the aisle. Will that do? What do you mean, it's sold out? The box office is just over. Sorry, will you have these tickets? All right, come on, give it to me. We've been framed. We've been given these seats on purpose. Yeah, if we can't make no squawks. Mm -hmm. I got an idea. Get up to the spotlight there and take over. What's your idea? Just this. When Wentworth gets up on the stage, flash the spotlight on him and we can't miss. Right. Dick, but I'm worried. Oh, don't worry, darling. We're a cinch. Pardon me. Uh, we're ready, Major. Right. Dick, I've got my fingers crossed. Good. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, the next number on our program is the famous criminologist and magician, your friend and my friend, Richard Wentworth. Ladies and gentlemen, with your kind permission, we will now take you to the land of magic and mystery with our guide, Mr. Richard Wentworth. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Nita Van Sloan, fiancé of Richard Wentworth, become a target of the octopus killers. Continuing his reign of criminal activity, the octopus sends his henchmen to carry out a daring bank holdup. The octopus, in an attempt to eliminate Richard Wentworth, has his killers bomb the famous criminologist. Will he escape?
octopus, mysterious master criminal, reaches out of the underworld in an effort to strangle major industry and seize control of the nerve centers of the country. The identity of the octopus is unknown even to his own men, but the fear and terror in which he is held is widespread. Operating with cold-blooded precision, the octopus has raided one industry after another, gaining a foothold through methods of terrorization. In this manner, he has gained a position that threatens the peace and security of the business world. In combating this menace, Commissioner Kirk and the police department are aided by Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist in the battle against crime. The police do not know that Wentworth is also the spider, a sinister masked figure that is hunted both by the police and criminals. Forced to work outside the law in his support of justice, the spider's activities have frequently been misunderstood, with the result that the police and criminals alike are seeking to destroy him. Unable to defend himself without revealing his true identity, the spider hated and feared by the underworld is placed between two fires. In an effort to draw out the men of the octopus, Wentworth consented to take part in a benefit performance given for the widows and children of the bus drivers killed by the master criminal. As Wentworth appeared on the stage, a prearranged plan to kill him got underway. Where's Wentworth? Is he badly hurt? I have an ambulance on the way out. But Dick wasn't hurt, Mr. Trick. Not hurt, but I saw him shot. It was a trick. A trick? A trick. What you saw was a vision of Dick thrown by the projector. In the meantime, Dick was out front trying to get a line on the men who wanted to kill him. Yes, but my oh, line! Yes. But I don't understand. Will you tell me more? All right. Now do you understand? I suppose so, but where's Wentworth? I don't know. Do you know where he is? All I know is he told us to stay here. Perhaps he's in his dressing room. Well, let's find out. None of my men have seen him. Dick! Who did this, Wentworth? I don't even know what hit me. Oh. I was hit from behind just outside that door. Better get a doctor. No, I'm all right. Did you get the hoodlums? Oh, we got a few little small fry. They bolted for the door when the spider started shooting. Well, let's get out of here. There might be some of them still about. Will you give my people a police escort home? You bet I will. It worked. It worked. <laughs> now, boys, take care of Nita. Did you get one, wife? Yeah, he fell like an ox. And the spider was there and knocked off some of the boys. Look! I'll take care of this. Get back, folks. Give him air. Somebody get an ambulance. No, I don't want to go to the hospital. Think it'd be all right? Sure. Where do you live? Just down the street a ways. I can make it all right. I'll help you. I'm very grateful for your interest in my brother. Are you a police officer, Mr. Uh... Not exactly. My name is Wentworth. Wentworth? Sis. This is the man that's helping find the octopus. Yes. Yes, of course. We, uh, we've heard lots about you, Mr. Wentworth. Well, well, good, I hope. Johnny, I'll have my doctor look you over in the morning. You'll be all right, I'm sure. You were tripped into firing, not at Wentworth, but as his image projected on a screen. A campaign is never accomplished in one battle. A wise general always makes allowances for small reverses so that his great victory more certain. And I am declaring a dividend that I know will stimulate your efforts. The Bank of Commerce will transfer a quarter of a million dollars to its Oak Street branch. I will have the exact information of the time and method of this transfer. Each of you men will receive a sizable bonus. You will receive your orders. Hey, Tommy, they all got away. Yes, stopping for you to pick up the boy gave them too much of a start. Any results from fingerprinting the ticket stubs? Only one lead that looks promising. Hmm, Tim Spencer. 
Now, our job is to get Mr. Walters, alias Tim Spencer, to give us a lead to his boss without warning him. Quite a job, I'd say. Not so tough. I shall enlist the services of my very good friend, Flicky McQuaid. No, that ain't no tip. Just a drunk with an idea. Hello, Flicky. Hello, Tim. Flake this one for me. Dirt at Louisville. I didn't know you played the police. That's a hot one. You better hop on it yourself. In a hurry. Jackson, have Ram Singh take Tim down to headquarters. Ask Kirk to hold him incommunicado. You come back here and stay. Here's the number Tim was calling. Somebody named Kate. Kate, hey, hmm? Wire chief, please. Hello, Bert. Wentworth speaking. Hey, give me the address on this number, will you? DR-04414. DR-04414. Bank of Commerce, eh? Ah, very interesting. Thanks, Bert. Bank of Commerce. Yes, this is number 13. Not yet, sir. He expects to call at any moment now. Bertsy, this shouldn't be bad oh, here. Hello, Mr. Wentworth. I'm all right again. That's uh, fine. I'm glad to hear it. Hey, get your sports edition paper here. Bank of Commerce. Yes, I'll put you on Mr. Gray's private wire. Yes, speaking. Good. I was getting nervous about that currency transfer. Good idea. Oh, Myrtle. Yes? Myrtle, will you take the board for a few minutes? I have a little errand to do. I just thought about it. Certainly. Here she comes around the corner. Black hat, black dress, light gloves. Your pardon. I'm a stranger here. I wonder if you could take. It's the pinch, Miss Sands. Get in the car and keep quiet. We know that you are employed by the octopus. We also know that you were placed in that bank to get information for him. Now, if you don't talk, I'll turn you over to the police. No, don't do that. I can't tell you. I don't dare. They'd kill me. I'll. Is it a trick? No, Dick. She's really fainted. The poor thing's frightened to death. I'll give her a rest. Nita, I've got a job for you. Do you remember your old telephone work? I could take over switchboard right now. Fine. Is Miss Simpson ill? Oh, no. Just a little family trouble, I believe. Now, if you'll just tell me about the different officers and officials, I'll... Yes, certainly. Thank you. Now, this line here is to the private office of Mr. Gordy. Rapton, are your men ready? Ready, sir. They leave Malene's garage the moment they get the word. Go to Malene's at once. The money will arrive at the bank at exactly 2 o'clock. It will be in a car camouflaged as a laundry truck. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Number 10? Yes, sir. Number 13 must have expected trouble or she would have phoned instead of sending this note. She was mighty cagey when she slipped it to me, sir. You go to the bank at once. Find out if anyone is spying and take what steps are necessary. Yes, sir. And you were not aware that there was a leak of information from your bank? Positively not, Wentworth. All right. 
The girl now on the board is one of my operators. I only hope we got her here in time to find out what's going on. Bank of Commerce. Just a moment, I'll see if he's in. Yes? Bank of Commerce. Just a moment, please. Evidently, he was sent here with a message for the other operator. And he found we had placed a substitute. Here it comes. Attention all cars, this may be in your district, a robbery, Bank of Commerce money car, laundry truck just past 81st and Center. A number of innocent people were killed today. Your own brother was knocked down by one of the bandits. Johnny? Hmm. Did the man see him? We don't know that, but if he did, Johnny's life is in danger while those men are still at liberty. Johnny, my poor brother. Sid! What are you doing here? Johnny! Oh! All right, I'll talk. Four years ago, I was mixed up with Tim Spencer in a wiretapping job. I didn't know. Spencer was arrested and I barely escaped. The police are still looking for the girl that was with him. I got a job in the bank under the name of Georgia Simpson. Spencer discovered me there, threatened me, made me get information for the octopus. Who is the octopus? I don't know. Honest, I don't. But you telephoned him? No. No, he called me at the bank and gave orders. My reports were always sent through Spencer. You mustn't say anything. I wouldn't be safe. Johnny wouldn't be. You don't have to worry anymore, Miss Sands. The last link between you and the octopus is gone. Tim Spencer is dead. Your secret is safe with us. That's swell, Mr. Wentworth. I wanted to tell you I remember that man now. The one who knocked me down at the bank? He's Malene. He works at the Oak Street Garage. Good boy, Johnny. Now you and your sister run along. Go on. Nita. Ramsing. Jackson. They've got a break at last. Yeah. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. Coming out. Do we rush him? Not unless they discover us. If they do, that'll be work for the spider. Come on. Nothing, fellas. Take it easy. We don't want to be cop after us. Just load on board. you will see Richard Wentworth as the spider on whip the octopus killers only to run into the police. The octopus, ruthless and cruel, destroys his own men when they fail to carry out his orders. Killers hired by the octopus wait for Wentworth to walk into a trap. Will he escape?
menace known as the octopus invaded the city, spreading chaos and death and gaining control of all industry. Unable to track down this fiendish destroyer of life and property, Police Commissioner Kirk enlisted the aid of his friend Richard Wentworth, noted criminologist. Disguised as the spider, wanted by the law and a terror to the underworld, Wentworth battles the octopus relentlessly. The spider succeeded in uncovering a plot by the octopus to steal a huge sum of money that is being transported to a bank. As his own car driven by his faithful man Jackson comes abreast of the fleeing car of the thieves, the spider daringly leaps from his running board into the open car of the bandit. The speeding car was hashed into a large electric transformer charged with thousands of volts of death-dealing electricity. today in a car with three other guys. Are you sure it was Moline? You bet. I know that guy any place. Hmm. I'm going down to Moline's garage. I'll take you home and I want you to stay in your apartment until you hear from me. Okay by me if you say so. Jackson. Yes sir? Get the car please. We're going to take Johnny home. Ramsing will go with us. Yes sir. Remember, Johnny, you stay in your apartment until you hear from me. I'll send your bicycle to you. Thanks, Mr. Wentworth. Goodbye. There's Malane going up to Johnny's house. Go around the corner and stop. The spider walks in the open, Master. Does it not work for the police? Lawyer, when immediate action is necessary, the police are too handicapped by rules and regulations. Therefore, the spider must strike at once. Wait here. Thank <laughs> you. 